All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Demetrius Johnson and John Dodson. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Make sure you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, 12 losses. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting an ultimate fighter season winner, John the Magician Dotson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh! Right. 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. What a punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, nice check on the left. over 20 total strikes have now landed for John Dotson. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? All right, buddy, take a seat here. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active and a little bit more in movement. You can't wait on this guy, okay? All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Good punch, Lance. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by John Dodson. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Dodson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. 
We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Stay sharp, be first. I need you to be first. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. Nice loop. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Johnson gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, good opportunity to do. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Dodson going for the head kick. No dice. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Johnson gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Dodson gets hit with a kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these. He hurt him. That ball oh. is going back. That'll do it. Go. Oh, my goodness. Go. Go. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Declare the winner by TKO, John the Magician! Well, there he is, the man of the hour,
And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.